Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Nadine. So I'm back. Um, earlier I tried to do a review, but I thought it was my iPad acting up, but it wasn't. It was actually the print a print maker app. Um, it's kind of like not working the way it should be. It kind of kicks out the printmaker and there's issues with it. There's an update, so <laughs> hopefully that fixed the problem. Um, but I, I really, really like what it's supposed to be doing. Um, I used it a couple of times and sometimes it was working correctly. Then when I was on live, it wasn't and I felt like... I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> and the things that I was searching for it didn't appear in the menu as of last night when I was playing with the printmaker it was fine and then today it was not but let's let's try and do this um review or demo or whatever you want to call it so this is the printmaker. Um, this is the printmaker. It's by We Are Memory Keepers. I purchased it from Michaels. They have them available. Some stores are already sold out. But I know they're gonna. I, I believe that they're gonna get this. You know, working the way it should be. It's like every. A lot of items when you first purchase it, it kind of has some tweaks, you know, that they need to adjust. So, um, hopefully the app starts working the way it should be. So, I also purchased this. Um, it's for the ribbons and... It's for the ribbons and um, washi tape. And this is it right here. It has three different attachments that you can change. This one is a 25 millimeter, which is this one right here. This is also the ribbon from We Are Memory Keepers. It's kind of expensive too. <laughs> but um, I wanted to try it with the original. Then after that, I'm just gonna buy other ribbons because you can use different ribbons too. And then they, it also comes with um, the 10 millimeter and 15 millimeter. So you can use different sizes of um, ribbons or washi tape. I also purchased the washi tape. I'm not doing the washi tape today or the ribbon. I'll do that in another video. And this is the little printmaker. It's a lot of information I've just been giving you guys. Um, this has a little lock button, which it's secure in there, won't fall off. And if you're not using it, I suggest you put it on the lock button. So then it has the little unlock button right there. Just twist it and you can just remove it. Then once you do that, you want to place in there the cartridge. This is an additional cartridge because I wanted to do videos, so I purchased an extra one just in case I used up the one that came with the the, <laughs> the printmaker. Um, so this is the cartridge it uses. It's by HP. So you can also get those at um, Michael's. And all you have to do is separate it right there. You push in the cartridge let me see. Okay, this is a cartridge like that. All you have to do is line it up with the purple right there. Slide it in. You hear the click. And that's it. You're done. Then, the printmaker comes with these right here. You take one of those little felt things and put it on here. And just dab it on the... This is where the, it prints from you just dab it there and that's it you clean it up so when you're using it it doesn't it's clean and they won't mess up anything 
So, this is the app. Let me move my iPad. This is the app um, for the printmaker. Let me put it back here because they said that if you're not using it, put it back in the little docking station because the print, the ink can dry up and it's kind of expensive to the ink. So I don't want it to dry up. So they, like I said, they did an update. I just updated the printmaker. Let's open it. So once you open it, these are different. See, <laughs> this is the update that um, I was telling you guys about. They just, just did the update. Um, it says some users are experiencing an issue where their store doesn't update immediately after subscribing. That happened to me. Well, let's see. So this is the home. This is the newest edition that they added to the um, collection. So it's Magical Forest. Right there. Look at how pretty. <laughs> it's really, really cute. So those are all the images. Then these are the pattern. Now, if you want to buy this collection, all it costs is $2.99. I don't think that's bad at all. And then it has templates right there. So let's close that. Um, they also have a whole bunch of um, free images, like Bible journaling. And those are the different things there. The clip art. These are the patterns, which... These patterns, you can also print them as um, in the washi tape or ribbon, or you can print it on paper, wherever you please. Because I've seen even people printing them on sneakers. Um, I saw on shoelaces. This thing is on wood, like the popsicle woods, wood. <laughs> um... You can print stuff for little kids, you know, learning um, things for little kids. So there's different collections. I have that one, Fresh Bouquet, Hip Hop Hooray, Holiday. Those are all free when you purchase um, the printmaker. Kids, Not So Basic Shapes, Organization, Planner Basics, Retro Icons, Sentiments, Business, Small Business, Teaching Essentials, Word of Arts, A through Z, D to G, H to M, <laughs> N through S, T to Z. Then they have more here. Um, and these are $2.99 each. And there's some that I wanted to show you guys. Hey Santa! I know a lot of people love this collection. So they have the Hey Santa collection. Look at how cute. Then they have the patterns here that you can print for washi tape or whatever you want to put it on. Um, then here are the templates. So I wanted to show you guys that one. They have Dream. Um, there was another one I wanted to show you guys. What? It's not showing me more. There was another Christmas one. Yeah, this thing is still acting up. Let's see if I turn it this way. There you go. So they have that one there. Look at how cute. Oops. Those are so, so cute. And then these are the patterns for washi templates. So 
once you go you want to start using your um print maker turn it on right here in this little square button here the little play button just press it and it should be turning on soon there you go then you go to your settings on whatever device you have and connect it through bluetooth and um i believe mine is let me check okay it's not connected it's right there it's not connected so i'm gonna click on it and connect it there you go it's connected go back to the print maker then you go to the settings it's connected there but when you're setting it up for the first time you have to connect it here also and let's go and try to make a project so we're gonna create something press create now you're gonna go to tools and you're gonna go to images if you have images that you want to use from your phone or your device or whatever or if you just um want to go to the collections just click on import and i'm gonna go to fresh bouquet and here they have all the images again so we're gonna go to patterns and let's click on a pattern. Let's click on this one. So now you click on the pattern itself and you should make, you can make it bigger and adjust it to the size that you want. Since the, I have the wider um, washi, you can make it as big as the little rectangle there and it'll print the right size, you know? Let me, and it'll be that big. So, okay, that's the image that we're gonna print. You can click on it if you don't like it. Um, with those images, just move it around and adjust it to whatever you want in there. So, okay, let's adjust it to that. Now we're gonna go to print. Here in this button right here, you can click on repeatable printing. It will print one to 10 times or infinite. Let's click on that one. And then we get a piece of paper. We get a couple of pieces of paper here. Um, okay, I'm gonna move my iPad to the side. Now we're gonna send it to printer. It's blinking now. Let's take it off. <laughs> Let's take it off of there. It's sending to printer. Now let's click on here. We're going to wait for the light to turn green. Once it's green, it has that little light right there. That's exactly where it's going to start printing. So that easy and that pretty. That is so adorable. And once you um, start printing and the light is green, you can print it as many times as you want. So we're done with that image. Now we're gonna go to, I'm done printing. The light changed, it went back to white. Now we're gonna click on that image again and put it in the trash, delete. We're gonna start with something new now. We're gonna go back to, um, if you don't want the canvas to be that color, you have tons of colors here. Let me move this to the side. You have a whole bunch of colors here. You can scroll down and change it. Let's say if I wanted to put it that color, you can change it to that, or you can custom and use the pinwheel and adjust it to whatever color you want. So that's pretty cool. And um, let's choose another image. Now this time, let's go to import again. Let's go to Fresh Bouquet again. 
And now we're gonna choose a clip art. Let's choose a clip art. So we're gonna choose that image right there. And now I click on that image, copy that image. Let's say three times. Wait, I'm gonna make it smaller. Let's delete those. So I'm gonna click on the first one so we can have more than one image in there. And okay, I'll leave that one there. Then we're gonna go down here to the bottom, it says copy. We're gonna copy it twice, bring the image. Let's not put it on a straight line, okay? And we're gonna bring that one here. And I think that looks pretty cute. So let's go ahead and send it to print. And again, I'm gonna change it here because I'll end the image wherever I feel like it. <laughs> so we're gonna choose infinite here and send to printer. She made a noise again. It's sending to the printer. You can see it right there. Um, okay, let's go. Now I press the button here it starts blinking let's see if you can hear it oh i don't know i think i, I was talking when it, it beeped so now we're gonna have that image there how cute is that see and the printmaker you don't have to press it at all just glide it across the, t the paper easy and um, that's it look at how pretty that is okay i'm done printing let's do one more image so we're gonna delete those um let's click on delete and delete go back to tools import Actually, no. Let's go back to what I was trying to do when I was on my live. So let's go to browse. And I was playing around with this little dog. <laughs> so I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and adjust it. So I'm going to go ahead. Put it right there. There's another button here, copy. So we're gonna repeat that same image, move it to the side. Okay, I'm gonna place it right there too. Now, you see how the flowers right there are kind of overlapping and it doesn't look like a consistent image? Let's adjust that. So what I'm gonna do is, um press right here it says arrange and that image I wanted to go down now this one I'm gonna move it forward a little bit and there you go so let's move this one right there there you go and the image to me it looks really good so let's go ahead and print it I was upset during the live because it went wrong and I, I looked like I didn't know what the heck I was doing. <laughs> but we're good, we're good. <laughs> so we're gonna send it to the printer. And it beeped. Let's change the paper. Get a new piece of paper. It's blinking. Now let's press the button again. Wait for it to turn green. And we're ready to rock and roll. Let's go. And we made our own washi tape. And that's an image that I have. So if you have digital, um, digitals, like I purchased digitals from acdigital.com and, um, 
those digitals that I have, I can turn it into washi tape. I can, um, I'm pretty sure I can put the clip art, clip art in there and do different things with it. But so far I am loving playing around with this, making my own designs and yeah, the price, I think it's a little bit too expensive they should make something that's accessible for everyone but two hundred dollars is kind of a lot of money it is a lot of money <laughs> and um it's cheaper than the one that they had last year that one when they listed that one it was three hundred dollars so this one is two hundred and um all the prices and attachments and all that stuff, I found it at Michael's. It would be awesome to use coupons with it, but right now, they're not letting you use any coupons. <laughs> so, yeah. But I wanted to review it, and I wanted to show it to you guys in my channel so you guys know and see more or less. There will be more videos coming up with these, um, with the printmaker. I enjoy it and um, I think it's pretty good the only down for me is the price and of course the app you know hopefully the issues have been fixed and we can go ahead and and, and print without having any issues let's see if they have anything else in the store <laughs> Alrighty then. Let's close that. Alright, let's see the store because they have different um They're going to be adding more, a lot more images and a lot more, um, oh, so when you subscribe, <laughs> everything that they have in the store, you can download to your, um, to your printmaker. So now I'm able to download all the images. So all you have to do is press download. And the collection is downloaded. That simple it is to download the collections. So click on that. And if I click on it again, it says download it. So you're not downloading things over and over again. So I'm going to go ahead and download everything. The subscription is $30 per year. And um, you get all the images that they have. In the store, you can download it to your um, printmaker. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So that is awesome. I can download Hey Santa now. That is nice. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's pretty easy to use. I tried to explain it to you guys as easy as possible. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll try to answer it as soon as possible. And yeah, please give the video a thumbs up. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you made it this far, I appreciate it so much. So thank you. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.